Michael, huge congratulations. A, a potential banana skin there, but you dealt with it professionally in, in a nice ah, manner. But then, of course, every round in this short format, in big tournaments like this, every round is a banana skin. Do you know what I mean? You're not allowed to make mistakes against anyone, so you always need to be sharp. I think I started off a little bit, it looked a bit nervous, but I wasn't nervous. I just had a bit of cold hands, so it didn't really went my way. And then the double one really was a little bit of a big relief, to be fair. And then afterwards, I think the cruise control was on and I did the right things for myself. You seem to be smiling and enjoying it again. This is the first time I've seen you like yeah, this for a while. I, I'm enjoying the darts again, and that's, I think you need to have that if you want to perform well. And uh, I've been in the game, uh, it's my nearly 18 years, I think, 2007, I crossed over. So in January, 18 years, So, and I'm only 35, so I've been in the PDC for a long time. I've played a lot of tournaments so far, but you want to keep performing well, you want to keep moving on, and I think that's what I'm doing. Uh, there's still a lot to gain for, still a lot to fight for, and I think this is a really important tournament. I didn't win this one for a few years, so uh, yeah, my hands are, yeah, my eyes and hands are only one way. I need to make sure I'm going to win this. You said about enjoying it again. Has Luke and Luke really inspired you again to enjoy it? Because I remember when you yeah, 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 yes and no. You need to inspire yourself because if you don't have the willing to win, you can have all the talent in the world, but you're not going to make it. Do you know what I mean? Uh, you need to do it yourself. I'm going to fight for everything. I'm feeling good. And I think there's still a lot more in the tank and, uh, for the next seven, eight years. So we're going to see what's going on. Are you feeling better now as well? Obviously, we know you of were course, very, very, very when, well. when you start winning things again, when things are starting to move more your way, everything starts to get nicer. But that's the way how darts is. Your equipment, we've seen a, a, a quite aggressive grip change. Yeah. Something that, like, I was looking for your old darts through the years. That it's quite out of the zone for you, this new guy. Really, really out of the zone. And what's uh, the, the, the darts man, Lee, uh, of Wimma, he, he made them darts as a prototype. And I just said to him, I said, I, I want something different. But he was uh, at the factory at Kenya, so he didn't know. So the people at Wimma sent me over that set of darts. But it was only a set of prototypes. And I started practicing with them, and they went so lovely. And I said, from that moment, I didn't move ever back to my old set of darts so sometimes that's also a good point because not only for the for, for yourself it's also the way how you treat your darts the way how you throw it's sometimes it's nice it's a, it feels like a relief because you always my darts and me are one you know what i mean so we always but now now start things start to get in place i'm start to feel good i start to win tournaments and from there on i think you can make some nice steps again Two Pro Tour wins, a Euro Tour win. One, did you need them? Because, and two, does it hurt when people say, Michael hasn't won this for so long, he hasn't won this? No, nah, that, that doesn't really bother me. I only, I only hurting myself by pushing myself to limits. I spoke to Vincent when I was number 18 in the Pro Tour, before it was like the end of August, we had a sit down and we went through the calendar and everything. He said, you got one target, you need to make sure you're in the top 16 of the Pro Tour ranking. And we sat down, we went through the calendar, I'm going to play this, I'm going to play this, but I'm going to keep playing till I'm in the top six. And now you want two Pro Tours and one Euro Tour and you're number six or seven in the Pro Tour ring. That's how quick it can go. So you always need to make sure you keep aiming for the best and that's what I'm doing. And when I'm getting pushed, you see, I can do good things. Welcome. Thank you very much. Welcome. Michael, there are some people that might be a little bit worried about playing a German in Germany. Is that ever a concern for you? If I if I worry about playing in Germany, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a really tough life. Do you know what I mean? I play here so often. Uh, after the UK, I play here in Germany the most out of any country. So nah, I'm not bothered. They they always treat me well. Of course, they have a hate love relationship with me because I'm I'm Dutch, but I'm doing so well in this country. So, but overall, I get re great respect, and that's why I admire. That's why I have respect for. So I, now I need to do the right thing for myself and make sure I'm going to keep performing. We saw what Luke Humphries has been doing for twelve months. We Sorry. We saw what Luke Humphries has been doing yeah. for the past twelve months. Luke Littler, and now we've seen Michael Decker win the World Grand Prix. How tough is it nowadays to, to lift major trophies compared to when it was maybe four or five years ago? Yeah. You can. Times change. People retire, people get old, people want to show less good. That's the way how darts and sports moves on anyway. 
but now you need to do, make sure you're going to do the right thing for yourself. I think Luke Humphries had a fantastic 12, 13 months so far. But I'm already doing this for 17, 18 years, do you know what I mean? So sometimes uh, at a point it could get a little bit automatically like a robot. But now I really have the joy again and that's what you need to have if you want to do well. And next up is a two-time world champion Gary Anderson next, what are your thoughts on that? Could be a Jamie, blockbuster. Yeah, of course, it's always going to be a blockbuster. Wherever you have a good or bad game, it's always going to be a tense game. We don't want to lose to each other. We know each other really well. But um, I, I'm feeling comfortable, I'm feeling good. And I, I know I can hurt him on the right moments. You know, we all know Gary Anderson, yeah, he's a, one of the best players I ever saw in my life. But he's also a part-timer, do you know what I mean? So uh, I need to make sure I'm going to do the right thing and bet on my own game. Cheers, Michael. Thank you. Right. Michael, one more before you go. You were at the weekend, the game against Luke. It was one of the best games we've ever seen. Forget the result, but that's the best I've seen you look for a while. Yeah, you yeah, so I still have, I, of course you get confidence. So it's, it, if you play against the best players in the world, whoever, it happens. Do you know what I mean? I wasn't even angry with myself. It, things like that happens in sports. and. Uh, when you play a really good game, I still have my chance. He, for instance, he had the, the second leg, his last dart went in a double. Otherwise, it's, I'm 2 0 up, do you know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. then I missed two darts, and then I won dart the bullseye, and then it's 6 1. But I think that's a little bit of a yeah, flat score, do you know what I mean? That shouldn't. But my scoring power was there, that's right. the absolute will to win was there, and from there on, I think there's a lot of perspective. Is that the best you've actually felt for a long time as well? Yeah, maybe, but uh, there's still more to come. Well, thank you as always. Yeah.